Welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to solve the exercise that I gave it to you in the previous video. And then I'm going to talk about uh, other ways to create a variable. So first of all, let's uh, solve the problem. Uh, by the way, uh, there is something called comments in JavaScript. Uh, there is something called a single line comment. And the way to do it is to add two slashes. And also there is the multiple line comment, which is uh, one slash with a star. This is how you open it. And the way you close it also, it's a star with a backslash. And everything between those two lines are going to be a comment. In case you don't know what a comment means, uh, basically when uh, the browser is going to read the JavaScript code, when the browser sees a single line comment or a multiple line comment, is going to ignore uh, the text between uh, the starting and the end for, for the comment. So um, basically, normally we use them to add some explanation to our code. And yep, that's it. So let's get back to our problem. Var one person. As we mentioned in the previous video, we cannot start with a number. So the way to fix it is person one at the end of the variable name. And I think I wrote gems in a wrong way. Yeah, hopefully this is the correct way. Var football team. Um, well, I tricked myself because this is the right way actually to write football. So no need to use camel case in here. So basically there is nothing to do with this one. Uh, let's get to the next one, which is favorite day, it's a capital letter, of, it's a capital letter, the, the T is a capital letter, week, the W, is a capital letter. Again, we call this a camel case. It's a good practice uh, to name a variable. Uh, we use the first letter of each word as a capital letter. We write it as a capital letter, not the first one. But from the second word, we start writing the words, or we start the word with a capital letter. Just to differentiate. Uh, like, to tell the person who is going to read the code that this is a new word. When you see a capital letter, this is a new word. Uh, the last one. Var, var equal banana. Well, var is uh, a JavaScript keyword, and we see my, my code editor here is uh showing me an error so variable declaration expected uh, basically we can choose it to fruit and this is going to solve the problem um <clears throat> now let's talk about uh the different ways to create a variable so as we say we have var so var first name equal to uh, would I? And the way to print things on the console is by writing the function console.log and we pass the variable name to it. We go now to our console and then we run our file which is app.js. Enter. And as we see here, we see the value of this variable. We see the string would I? Uh, there is something called reassigning. So basically, we take the variable name and then we may we use the assigning operator, the equal, and we assign a new value to our variables. Uh, so let's say um, let's not make it complicated. So would I two? And if we print first name again. Uh, what do you expect the result to be? So I will give you a couple of seconds to think about it. It's going to be Udai2. So basically we reassigned the value of the variable first name. Um, let's comment this out. Another way 
to declare a variable in JavaScript is to use the let keyword. So if we do first name equal to Uday, and then we print it, console.log, first name, we should see in the console Uday. Yeah, true. Then let's try to uh, reassign the variable value to Uday2. And let's print it again, console.log, first name. <clears throat> we should see Uday2. Let's run our code. Yes, it's there. Now, one of the differences between let and var um, one of them is related to blocks and scope. Uh, I'm not going to explain it now. Um, I will be explaining it in the next week because we'll be talking about blocks and scopes. But for now, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to explain one difference. So let me delete this. Well, let's keep it actually. If I did let first name equal to would I three? What do you expect the result to be? Let me clear my uh, terminal. Think about it. Um, let's run the code. Okay. We got an error message. Syntax error. Identifier first name has already been declared. So, in line number 10, we already declared a variable with the name first name. In line number 18, we use the same variable name but with a different value. And this is why we have an error. So basically JavaScript is trying to tell us that you already have a variable called first name. So if you want to create it, just use a different name. So if we do first name two, this is going to be a different variable. Let's save, run our code. It's okay. If we print it on the console, first name two, clear. Can I do it? Um, no. Okay. Run now. Let's run the code. So we see Uday, Uday2 after reassigning the value of first name and then there is a new variable called first name 2 and it has the value uday3 let's try to do that and let, let's remember when we did first name we got an error javascript is then was telling us that you already have a variable called first name so please choose a different name to create a variable. Let's try to do that with var. So we have the variable first name. Let's do var first name equal to today. Three, save, clear the terminal, run the code. We didn't get any error. Let's print it out. <clears throat> Run the code and it works. So basically we can we can see the value of day three in the console, printed in the console without having any error. Which is a bad thing. So in this case there is no way to avoid mistakes. 
rather than paying attention. Um, it doesn't throw an error. Uh, if you are using var, you can actually keep creating variable with the same name without JavaScript uh, making you know that you know you are doing something wrong. So basically, you lost the value inside the first name after you created a value, another variable with the same name. You are going to lose the value of this of this variable. Um, so uh, the thing that I want you to learn or to know is do not use var. Uh, unless you're working for a company uh, that's using Egmax script 5, which is an old version of JavaScript, and var is created in this version. Uh, if you don't have to use it, just don't use it because it's going to cause a lot of problems and like errors for you. Uh, the last thing I'm going to talk about is const. So let's do first name equal to today console.log first name save queue the terminal and run the code. Yes, we see it over here. Let's do first name equal to today two. Save the code and I will give you a couple of seconds to expect the output. Run it on the terminal and we got an error. Assignment to constant variable. <clears throat> so when you create a variable with const, uh, const is used for a fixed value, a constant value. Something is not going to change. So you will create it for one time and give it a certain value and you don't want it to change. Uh, why? Uh, one example I can think about there is, you know, something fixed, some, something constant you might, you might need in your program. Uh, for example, if you are doing something related to math, so if you do pi equal to 3.14, if I remember correctly, you know, this is a constant math value. You don't want it to change. Like, there is no way you want it to change. So you add it as a constant. Uh, why you add it as a constant? Because you want JavaScript to tell you that, like, when you change the value of this variable, you want JavaScript to tell you that you are doing something wrong. Do not change it. Uh, so, yeah, these are the three ways that we have to create variables. So var, let, and const. Var, it's an old version of JavaScript. Uh, basically, you can reassign value to uh, the same variable name. And if you use var and an old variable name you have in your program, it's going to add the new data without getting any error. This thing is not going to work for let, so let is going to inform you that you already have a variable with this name. Please fix this issue. Uh, const, like you create the variable for one time, and uh, like JavaScript is going to throw an error if you try to change uh, the variable value. I hope it was clear to you guys, and see you in the next video.